Playing at their maritime studies, the vessel birthed the Nelson Mandela Bay after completing its scientific voyage. 45 scientists from the Indian National Centre for Antarctic and Ocean Research joined the cadets on their expedition to carry out oceanographic research. Students from various universities across South Africa, including the Nelson Mandela University and the Durban University of Technology, actively assisted in ocean research and formed part of the crew operating the vessel. Cadets receiving a warm welcome after 83 icy days out at sea. The S.A. Gullers sailed around the world to the Earth's southernmost continent, the South Pole. These cadets will now be ready to further their studies, mainly in marine studies, ship engineering, tug masters and maritime law. The South African Maritime Safety Association says their primary aim is to equip the youth with skills they need to be employable in the sector whilst boosting the maritime economy. So by giving him practical hands-on experience at sea, we make the young man or lady uh, just a little bit more marketable to anyone else that is trying to operate within that environment. And through that, we're hoping to lift the, the maritime economy, help to fight unemployment, create job creation and everything that goes with that. Inside the research vessel, cadets assist in the overall running of the ship. This includes engineering, maintenance and deck work. So basically what we do down there is we make sure that there's power and lights and everything. We make sure the ship, the propeller is turning and there's movement. And every other thing that's on board, like the water, the hot water in our taps. I mean, we, we make sure that everything. So our job is uh, very complex and demanding. A lot of extra hours go into it. And we would learn by doing practical work on board the ship. So mooring stations and um, do watches. And that way we can also learn the navigation side of the ship. We, it actually went way past our expectations, you know, from going far down south. It's been a highlight uh, to, to, of, of, of our career. And, you know, with the TOs, they actually made it. They made everything much easier for us. Uh. On the ship, on our ship, SA Gales, they've led us to work on the mooring lines, to do bridge washes, or, or yeah, also navigate in ice. Um, and restricted visibilities. Uh, I mean, it was great. The Agulhas vessel has been a dedicated Arctic research ship for 20 years now. It is also recognized globally for assisting international researchers with marine explorations, whilst creating a platform for young cadets to receive training and sea time. Jade Lee Paulser, SABC News, Port Elizabeth.